So today I'm going to be making the homemade fish goujons and cheesy beans. It tells you it's for two people and it takes 30 minutes to make. It also tells you all the calories, the fat, carbs, sugar, fibre, protein, salt and saturated fat in the corner there. This is per person, so 650 calories in this meal. And then here it just tells you what ingredients you need, which is that they've sent these with them in the box. And then you've got a few ingredients at the bottom, which they expect you to have at home. So we just need flour, milk, olive oil, pepper, salt, sugar, vegetable oil from home. Otherwise, I'll get these out now. Now on the card it does mention canned canelli beans. And this one says lentils, but this is the only one they've sent. So I'm hoping it's that's the right one. Now on the back of the card, you've got all the instructions here. So I've chopped them into 12 pieces. This is the size that it looks like on the picture. You need a handful of flour to a plate and a splash of milk into a bowl. And at the pan called breadcrumbs, this is the one that they've given. For another plate with a generous drizzle of olive oil. And it says this is what's gonna make the breadcrumbs golden. I'm not sure that's enough but let's just give it a mix so I have added around about six tablespoons to this packet next this is season the fillets generously with salt Coat them in the flour, dip it into the milk, and the breadcrumbs. They're all done now. It says um, add the breaded fish strips to a separate baking tray and put the tray in the oven for 15, 14 to 15 minutes or until cooked through and golden. Your fish is cooked once it turns opaque and flakes easily. Basically, mung beans. This is mung beans, not canelli beans. So it says it's canned canelli beans. Here, but anyway, so yeah, they're giving me lentils basically. This is mung bean. Not sure what I'm gonna do with that. So I've had to use my own baked beans, so now I'm left with this can, the stock mix, and the radish. So I can't be used. So I won't be using these. Basically. Grate the cheese and cut the spring onion. And it's been 35 minutes now. They're still not dark as the ones in the picture. These are way darker. So I'm thinking maybe I needed to add more olive oil in the panko crumbs. So they're definitely cooked. Broke one up and it breaks easily. So again, not as brown, golden as them, but next time I'd add more oil to my crumbs. But they still look made and they still look good. That's <laughs> basically my plate. Definitely happy with the wedges, so the wedges are really nice and crisp. Oh, really good. Would recommend to put them separately on the baking tray when you bake them. Uh, again, these a little pale, a little bit on the pale side. Have a taste. Mm. Yeah, it's nice. Very um, quite bland got a nice crisp to it baked nicely definitely took more than 15 minutes though so it took 30 minutes I'd probably add a bit more seasoning next time maybe a bit more pep maybe add some pepper can't really comment on those because they are my own beans 